Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny, and in this bass fishing video, I'll be fishing with two topwater lures from Europe. The first one will be the Pachinko 100. The second one will be the Asturi 90. The question is, will these two European topwater lures make it happen? So let's go. Holy cow, folks. Top Water Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. Look at that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. There we go. Woo! At that one. Hooked. Hey, everybody. It's Top Water Johnny. I want to welcome you to the next video here. Please be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. And we're going to be fishing with two European topwater lures. And their company is called Exorius with an X. And the first one up is the Pachinko 100 topwater lure. So it's kind of like a walking bait. Got a cut mouth for spitting water as well. We'll see what that one does. The second one is the Astoria 90. And this one dives about a foot, but also wakes across the water as well, like a fleeing minnow. So we're going to find out today what these European hot water lures can do in America. So let's go ahead and get started now. Once again, please be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got the pinky. All right. Look at that. Look at that, everybody. Right out the gate. On top water. All right. There it is. On Pinsky, right there. And there we go. Okay. All right. There he is. Right there. Okay. No complaints. Hey everybody, Top Water Johnny here. Look at this one right here. Got a nice one, man, on that European Top Water Lure. So, no complaints. We we doing something here early in the morning with it. So, all right then. So, no complaints once again. All right. Okay, everybody, nice one. A little bit over a pound. No complaints. There we go. There we go. There we go. Through the weeds. There we go, everybody. There we go. Got that one, boy. All right. Woo! Long cast. But we got him. I didn't want that lure again. European, man. Look at that. Chasing minnows. And we nailed him. All right. Hey everybody, Topwater Johnny here. Got this another, got this another nice one right here, man. That topwater lure, that European topwater lure, putting in work. So we got no complaints, man. We got the second one. It was a pretty long cast out there, but they were busting and they couldn't resist it. So no complaints. All right. All right, everybody, there we go. There we go, nice one. No complaints, all right. Hey everybody, it's Tyler Johnny here. So far, so good. We got two on that Pachinko Zorus, that uh, European lure, that European tower lure. So I don't have no complaints at all right now, man. It's uh, putting in work. And so we're going to keep on going here and see what we can make happen. All right. There we go. It's a little one, but we got him on a pachinko. All right. We got him on the pachinko Xurus. <laughs> Look at that. Not the biggest fish at all, but he still wanted it and he just threw it. Hey, good. I don't have to. Un 
Look at that, everybody. That little bitty bass on that big old lure. All right. Hey, everybody, stop with Johnny. <laughs> Not what we were looking for here, this little bitty bass. But this little bass, he wanted that Pachinko Axurus, so he got it, and we got him. So we're just proving that big bass, little bass, they all can key in on that type of top water lure. So, you know what? No complaints on that. All right. All right. Little bitty bass. But we got some action. So, no complaints. There we go. There we go. A story. All right. Got him. All right. All right, everybody. We got him. That's what I was looking for. There he is on the other one. On that story. That other European lure, we got him on this one. All right then. All right, everybody. Not the biggest bass, but they want that top water lure, so no complaints. All right. Everybody, like I said, not the uh, biggest bass, but I'm fishing on a very unique top water lure that uh, a story, which is a different type of top water lure here, but it's in that it's from that same company, and the bass are reacting to it, so no complaints. All right, everybody, there we go. Nice one. Hey, everybody, Top Water Johnny here. You've been seeing me fishing with that Pachinko and that Asturi in the more in the shiner pattern, but I just recently got the Pachinko in, check that out, that's a beautiful thing, in the bluegill color. So I'm gonna be fishing this one in the bluegill pattern and see what I can produce on this particular model. Also, the hooks look a little bit thinner, meaning a, lot, a little bit sharper though. And the one I have, it seems like it's a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna fish this one. Got a decent knocker in it, and I'm gonna fish this one, and we're gonna see what happens. So let's continue with the video. All right. Oh, and I just, just figured it out. The other Pachinko that I have has saltwater hooks on it. And this one right here, as you can see, had freshwater hooks so that's why the hooks are a little bit thinner a little bit more sharper because the one on the other one are saltwater hooks so mystery solved and we'll keep on going all right there we go on that pachinko all right on that zurus pachinko all right, woo! That's another nice one here. He struck it. He struck it that one, man. That Zorus Pachinko, and this one is actually in the bluegill pattern. He struck it. All right. Hey, everybody, talk with Johnny here. Got this nice one right here. Almost uh, a little over, right, almost a pound here on that Zurich Pachinko right here. So this is a nice long one right here. Good hit on that, so you saw that. So that was very encouraging. And like I said, once again, shout out to that Pachinko by Zurich, man. It's putting in work this morning here, man. So we're keeping going with it. All right. There we go. Nice thick one right there. All right. That was a strike. There we go. Right on the drop. On that pachinko in the grass. Right on the drop. All right. Not the biggest fish. 
But look at that. He totally. <laughs> look at that, everybody. He wanted that. He totally committed to it. That little bitty bass wanted that big old lure. There it is to put it in scope and size right there. Not a big bass. But he wanted it. All right. There we go, everybody. Okay. There we go. Another one. Another one. That pachinko. All right. They like it. There we go, everybody. Look at that. Not the biggest bass in the, as they say, biggest bass in the lake. But look what they're hitting. They're chasing down that pachinko. There he is, little one, but he wanted it. All right. There we go. That's a nice top water hit, folks. Got him. Got him. That's a nice one on that pachinko. There we go. Not that big, but man. Not that big, but man, what a hit. He ripped it, man. He he straight up. He straight up exploded on it. Like I said before, not the biggest. Not the biggest bass, but man. They hit it violently. Okay, everybody, not the biggest bass, but definitely the most aggressive for sure. All right. Hey, everybody, it's Howard Jane here. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video here with the video. We were fishing with that pachinko and then also the Asturi and then also the bluegill pattern of the pachinko. So we were able to catch some big fish, some smaller fish. Just, it's a really a great all around walk to bait type of lure. So I was really pleased with it, really happy with it. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go back to the studio and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on it and just share a little bit more information on it. So I'll see you back at the studio. Hey everybody, it's Topwater Jenny here. I hope you enjoyed the video here. I just wanna say guys, thank you so much for all your comments, all your thoughts and feedback about me going to ICAST 2021. I produced three different videos on that over the course of last week. So if you didn't get the chance to watch any of it, please go over and check out my channel and you'll see those three videos on ICAST from the start to the end. And I still didn't get a chance to see every lure that I wanted to see, believe it or not. There were quite a few that I really think are really special and I'm gonna feature them later on in some future videos so that you can see them because there's some that I thought were really, really cool, but I just couldn't get my hands on them in order to really take a closer look at them. But for now, what we're talking about in this video is the first one was the Asturi right here. And I just wanna show this one here to you. As you can see right here, it has a actual, the, the holder in the front of it where you tie on it is facing this way. So this one really is designed to look like a darting minnow. And it, it does a great wake, it does a great movement as well here it's got kind of like some red eyes to it as you can see as well i ended up putting a feather tail on the back just to create a little bit more attractant because this is kind of a very light colored lure so i really wanted to have something else that was kind of pulsating to create a little bit more attraction here but you saw me catch fish on this the next one and this is the one that really is the feature here is the pachinko right here 100 and this lure really is a great walking bait it also spits as well. So it really does give a just a great presentation on top of the water. And I was very fortunate at ICATS to meet the people that created this. And they were the ones that actually gave me this one right here. And that's why I've got the shell cracker now. And I really like this color. I really like this pattern right here. And it really is a true fish attractant right here. Really does attract fish. Really pulls them in. Now during the footage you saw, I, I mentioned something to you. Notice how these hooks are here. 
They are saltwater hooks, but notice how they're cur how they're curved up here. Notice this one right here. This one right here, totally different straight hooks right here, straight treble hooks right here. So this one right here, really, I think is designed to be a saltwater application right here. This lure itself, and this version is really designed to be in the freshwater category right here. But both of them lock the fish down. Both of them connected really well, and of course. I already showed it to you, but I'll hold it up here for you again. This is the Pachinko 140. And eventually one day I'll get out and get on some really, really big fish and some big water. And I'm sure I'll be able to do something with that big lure. And I'll feature that as well. Uh, finally, I have a lot of lures to look at and to review and to share with you guys. So I'm probably not going to be able to share all of them in the next coming up week. But I'm going to keep on sharing with you every week all the new lures that I've gotten in, all the new lures that I've been given, and so that you can see these lures. I'm gonna be fishing these lures as well and talking about them. So I'm just really excited about that. So on Thursday, I'll be sharing with you a collection of lures that I have recently got, and we'll talk about those lures. Then the following week, we'll talk about some more lures. And yes, for those that are wondering, at ICAST, I was fortunate enough to be given some lures that I'm going to give away. So I am going to be giving away some of the lures that I was given as part of the giveaway. So definitely that's coming up. So stay tuned for that. Probably next week, I'll probably start that process of doing the giveaway or, or getting everybody ready to participate in the giveaway. But I was really wanting to hold out until ICAST was over. And so then now I know how many lures that I can actually give away. So that's it for those that were wondering when the giveaway was going to happen. It's not this week. It'll be next week. That's when the contest will start, and that's when I'll tell you everything you need to do in order to potentially win. So with that in mind, I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to the channel. I want to welcome the new subscriber to the channel who never heard of me before, never seen me before, but now they know me. Well, you're. I'm so happy that you're with us, and I'm hoping that you will stay with us as we go through this journey of looking at these new topwater lures and you watching me fish those top water lures. So once again, this is Top Water Johnny saying that phrase. Keep your line tight because when they hit those top water lures, especially the lures that look like this, it's gonna be a big bite. I'll see you in the next video.